Hi, this is Aaron at thinkaboutlabs.com and welcome back to the fourth tutorial in the series. In this tutorial, we'll be looking at spawning objects. We'll be setting up our pins and pumpkins as prefabs so that we can spawn them as needed. Let's go to our project. To get started, let's place our pumpkin and pins exactly where we want them to spawn at. I want to use these grid lines that are in the floor to try to line these up. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, a little bit. Well, let's bring this back over back and let's bring this back. All right, that looks pretty good. They're all a little high. Let's get this pumpkin out of the way. Snammer pins, okay, pin one. Pin two. Pin three. Pin four. Ten six six ten seven ten eight. And then pin 10. It's our remaining one. Alright, let's go ahead and grab all of these and let's make sure they're set down just a little bit. Okay, good. Okay, now let's go ahead and drag these pins back into our prefabs folder. Okay, and we can go ahead and delete all of our pins and our pumpkin. Alright, so next thing we need to do, we need to go over to our scripts and go to the call break object. This is what's on the web. Now that we'll be spawning the pumpkin, we lose the ability to simply drag it to the breakable object, pumpkin object. We will need to locate it. We do that by opening up the call break object script. And we'll need to find it once it's been spawned. So on void awake pumpkin equals game object with big G find game object singular with tag pumpkin Hit component breakable object of type. This means that when we spawn the pumpkin on awake, we'll go find that reference so we can initialize it. Let's make sure our pumpkin is tagged with the tag pumpkin. Go to our prefabs, select pumpkin. And it is. If it's not, go ahead and create yourself a new tag and tag it as pumpkin. 
And one last thing inside of this script is that now that we won't need to reference the breakable objects in the inspector, we can hide it from the inspector. So hide an inspector in brackets. And save that. And go back to Unity. Now that this is done, we need to create a game manager that will control the object spawns. Let's create a new C sharp script called game manager. For scripts, create C sharp game manager. And we're going to put it on the bowling lanes. So game manager, let's drop that there and let's go ahead and open it up. In our game manager, we'll need two public variables to hold the game objects for the pumpkin prefab and the pins prefab. So public game object pumpkin prefab public game object. And this is actually going to be an array of pins prefab. Let's go ahead and delete all this out of here. Okay, let's create a spawn method. Void spawn all. In this method, we'll need to loop through all 10 pin prefabs and instantiate them to their position. We do that with a loop for int i equals zero, i is less than, and we, have, we know we have 10 uh, pin prefabs. call instantiate and I'll be using this third one right here we will instantiate the object the position and then the rotation so the first object is the pins prefab number and then the pins prefab number dot transform dot position and then finally the pins prefab number dot transform dot rotation. Okay. Now that we've instantiated all of the pins, let's do the pumpkin as well. So instantiate the pumpkin prefab pumpkin prefabs pumpkin prefab transform dot position and then pumpkin prefab dot transform dot rotation so when the game starts let's go ahead and spawn all of these so void awake And we'll just call spawn all. Okay, let's make sure we have everything saved. And let's go have a look. Game manager, and we see that we have the pumpkin prefab and the pins prefab. For our pumpkin prefab, let's go to our prefabs, grab our pumpkin, and drag it in there. And for our pins prefab, we know that we have 10. So set the size to 10, and we'll drag each pin in there for its position. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Let's go ahead and run the scene and verify we have all our spawns. Great. Our pumpkin spawn and our pin spawn. And we are able to run our pumpkin down the lane and strike the pins. So all of these objects have clone at the end of them, which means that they've been created based on the prefabs that we set in place.
Good. So that's all for this tutorial, and our next video, we'll be finishing up the score system. Till then.